Welcome back to my channel. It is day 11. Day 11 of quarantine for me. And things have been good, things have been fine. I haven't gone crazy just yet. I've actually enjoyed my time in quarantine. I've enjoyed all the extra time I have to cook and to clean and to organize. I did, however, tell myself that I was not gonna like be one of those people that needed to find things to do because I am so busy with my job and with like filming. I still don't have time to like deep clean everything and like organize my closet, organize my pantry, but social media and YouTube has inspired me. I'm seeing so many people like reorganize like everything they own, so I was like, hmm. I kind of want to do that too because I like to be clean and I like to be organized. I consider myself a pretty organized person already so I feel like everything I have is already organized but I went into my bathroom a couple days ago. I took a look around and I was like, mm, I, I don't like this. I don't like the setup. I don't like how all of my skincare is like cram packed into the corner of my bathroom sink. Um, I took a look under my bathroom sink and I was like, uh, I cannot see anything because there's just so much stuff under there and it's just so hard to find stuff under my sink So I went out to Amazon and I found a couple of organizational pieces that I thought would be perfect for my situation um, I found this like two-tiered stand that would be perfect for all my skincare stuff and having that two-tier instead of like one flat tray like gives me more room and then I also found some shelves and like cool little drawers that I could put underneath my sink because as I'm getting more things like cleaning supplies and like stocking up on like soap and toothpaste because you know guess what everybody's stocking up on all of those household necessities during this pandemic so um, I have more things and so I wanted to organize that in a really nice looking way so yeah the purpose of this video is for you guys to organize my bathroom with me so if you guys want to see me just click clean and organize my bathroom, then stay tuned. So here are the shelves. I just put them together and they were actually very, very easy to put together. Um, if you guys saw my montage though, <laughs> I didn't have a screwdriver so I had to use my scissors to screw them in but it worked just fine. So yeah, I really like them. The shelves like come out really easily. The bottom one is a little bit bigger than the top one so I think I could still fit a lot down there. Um, so yeah, they look really nice. I'm really happy with them. We're gonna put together my little shelf now for my skincare. This is pretty simple. This doesn't have any screws or anything. I just have to kind of like connect them all together. It just comes with four pieces. This is like, it's kind of like a plastic um, type of material. This is more like metal. And now here is the skincare stand. This one was really easy to put together. It's just putting these like shelves in between these two little holders. This is also really cool because you can customize like the height of each so like if you wanted you could move this one down here or you can move this one up there have some room underneath and have like kind of three layers but I like it like that and also I did buy another one because I wanted to put my vitamins on like a platform so I'll show you guys that really quick this is the one I put together for my vitamins um, it's literally the exact same one um, so yeah I think it's just a nice organizational piece I'm gonna start with doing under the sink first because I think that's gonna take the most work. Cue the montage of me clearing out all of this.
here is the aftermath. I really like how it turned out. Um, I feel like it's so much more compact and so much more organized. Um, I just like how there's so many more layers that I can like stack things on top of. These are kind of like boxed things that I use. So like my um, wax, my at-home waxing, my like sponges for my face. This is my self tanner that I use. And then that's for my, um, when I remove my um, gel nail polish. Up here I have like wipes. I have a vino, like the oatmeal um, bath stuff. I have a couple of blackhead masks, and then I have my like foot scrub. It's kind of a random like mix, but I feel like just based on the shape of everything, like these are all boxes, I just thought these would all go good here. And even though the boxes are like sticking up, there's so much like height underneath the drawers. Like these are standing up, and I stood them up because I wanted to like have more space rather than like stacking them up on top of each other. So yeah, these are really spacious. And then on top of here, I had this basket already. And so all of the things that were in these drawers used to all be crammed in this basket. So I like how I have more room for that now. But I have all my hair care stuff, all my like um, like hair color stuff. This is like bleach. When I used to bleach my own hair, I have developer. And then back there I have like my sun stuff, my sunscreen aloe vera. And back there I have my travel stuff. So that's my travel bag that I bring with me everywhere I go, my toiletry bag. And then behind that in that plastic bag are my travel size shampoo bottles and I put them in a bag because they always explode when I travel so yeah my travel stuff will just stay back there and then I have my hair dryer on top and then in the middle I put all of my like extra towel mats I was debating if I should take these out because they just take up so much space and they're so bulky but I don't have any other place in my apartment to put them so I think they just fit nicely in there and then this bag is like all my um, nail stuff so my gel my gel nail kit is in there nail polish mover I have normal nail polish in there behind there I have all my cleaning supplies for my bathroom my Windex my spray. I think this little middle section is still a nice little storage area. And then on this side, on the bottom here, I have all my like soaps, my um, Q-tips, toothpaste, tampons. I only have three right now. I need to buy more. I like how the soaps stack so perfectly. Look how beautiful that looks, except for this one extra one right here. I have literally four times three, 12. God, I literally have 13 bars of soap. What's wrong with me? And on top here, I have some products. This is a really random mix. These are some more travel size products, shampoo, um, facial stuff. These are products where I don't really have a place to put, so I just keep them underneath my sink. And then on top here, I have my toilet paper. And then back here, I have my nebulizer um, for when I have like asthma attacks. Um, if you have asthma, you know what this is. I have my nebulizer machine and then I have all my like breathing tubes and medicine back there. So yes, I'm pretty happy with this. So now we are going to conquer this top over here. So here is the final countertop. A lot less cluttered. I like the stand. I like how everything fits on here nicely and I like how compact it is rather than just like it all laying out flat like it was before. It has a lot of space. As you can see, I have a lot of stuff up here. Um, so I put all the taller looking things on the top shelf for obvious reasons. And then on the bottom, I put my like smaller things, my like little tiny circular containers. Um, I have my quartz roller here. So I was contemplating like a lot as you probably saw um, about which like direction to have this face. I wasn't sure if I wanted it to face like completely like in the corner like that 
um, or if I wanted it to be a diagonal, um, or if I wanted it to be like that way. Um, I think this way, like it would definitely save more space, but the thing is, like I can't see my products and I want to be able to see everything um, all at once. So that's why I have it turned at this angle, just because it's so much easier to see it all at the same time and it's easy for me to like grab things. But I don't know, so what do you guys think is the best angle in your opinion? Do you think I should keep it like this? or if I should turn it in like this. So I'll go into these drawers, um, cause I kind of-ish organize this stuff. These little containers I already had, um, but I basically have them organized by like different toiletry things. So like pads for my face. I have my Q-tips here. These are all my hair ties, like my scrunchies. And here's kind of like miscellaneous stuff. It's mostly like exfoliating stuff. So this is my like uh, lip scrub and then my brush for my lip scrub. This is my brush that I use for my eyelashes. I have this like water lip sleeping mask that I got from Sephora as like a um, beauty insider reward and I don't like it at all. I tried it once and I don't like it. Beauty blender cleaner. Um, and then I have a big tub of Aquaphor here and then these are all my little hair things. Um, these are my hair bands. Oh, I kind of like it better like that so I can see all of the different colors I have. Yeah, these are my hair bands. Um, these are some clips I bought but I have never used before but just in case I ever need them. And then here I have makeup wipes. I use these actually for traveling so because they're travel size so when I travel I bring these with me and then I also have my pile of face masks so I have like a mud mask I have like a different whole bunch of masks um, random I don't know why this is in here I should put this on my makeup on my vanity um, and then over here I have bobby pins and then this is more stuff for my eyelashes because I get um, eyelash what do you call those extensions so that's in this drawer. This was kind of like this already. It was already pretty organized, but I kind of just organized it more right now and cleaned it up a little bit. And then this drawer is all of my tools, my um, brushes. Um, I have my curler, my straightener, my like, uh, what do you call this? Like a three barrel crimper thingy. This is a tool for me because this is what I use to um, put down my baby hairs that are like flying off, like my edges. So I use a toothbrush to for that. Um, and then I have headbands and I have some head scarves that I just keep up here because I don't know, I don't really have anywhere else to put them. And then down here I have all my makeup bags. I have a whole bunch for like traveling um, and yeah, I have like a train case, just a bunch of makeup bags. Um, and then I also have some more of those um, little white containers that were in the first drawer. These are just extra ones, but I have them here in case I want to use them one day. And I moved my acrylic tray that I used to have all my skincare products on to the toilet seat. Um, just as a little decor piece, I am very satisfied with how my bathroom turned out. I wanted to show this new frame I got. I showed this on my story a while ago, but it wasn't included in my apartment tour and I haven't showed my bathroom since my apartment tour. So this is a frame that I got from Target. It kind of goes with my like theme of um, wooden detailing. As you can see, it's like in a wood frame. And then I have little touches here and there of wood in my bathroom. Just, it's like super minor things. Like this soap bottle that I got from World Market is wooden. And then also this mat I have, this shower mat is a wooden mat, it's from World Market. Honestly, I bought this for aesthetic purposes and just because I like the way it looked, it is not that effective, it doesn't dry your feet. I know a lot of people don't think it's effective, it really isn't, but I just like how it looks and how it makes the whole bathroom look all together. My shower curtain even has button detailings, or wooden button detailings as well. It was something that just kind of happened, like I just randomly got all these wooden things and then um, it just kind of pulled the whole bathroom together. So I'm liking the wood and the white. This mat is from Target. I can't remember if this was in my apartment tour but yeah that's from Target and I kind of like how boho it looks I feel like it looks really nice with the bath mat or with the bamboo mat together let's take one more look ah brilliant like let's just look at them together bam 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 Bam. Okay, I'm done. Alright guys, so that is it for my bathroom organizational video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I will definitely film more of these type of organizational videos if I decide to organize anything else in my apartment. Um, I don't know if there is anything else I want to organize right now. Um, maybe my kitchen. Oh, actually maybe my bedroom because that you could use a lot of work. Let me know what other videos you guys want to see. Leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in my next video.